Hey there, welcome back. Is it scary? Why is sheet masks so like scary? What what hor what um horror person looks like this? Isn't there someone that wears like a white mask? Who am I thinking of? I can picture something in my head. I don't know what it is. It's got a bit firm now. Anyway, um, welcome back. Welcome back to a new vlog. Um, it's half past nine. I'm yet to leave my room and actually start the day, but I put this mask on. I don't know why, I don't usually put masks on in the morning. I feel like masks are more of an evening thing. Do we agree? No? God, it look really scary. What is that villain called? I really can't, some sort of horror film, I've seen someone that looks like this. And I really can't picture it. Um, okay guys, welcome back. Let's get the energy levels up. Let's start this vlog. Um, what are we going to do? Oh, by the way, this is the Garnier, what's it called? The Garnier Moisture Balm Mask. Just the sheet masks, you know? Should we take it off? Nothing special. Or should I leave it on? Oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, now let's take it off. It's halfway off. Oh, that feels good. Wow, I feel moisturised. That feels nice. Um, Okay, guys, so happy wednesday it's wednesday for me it's not gonna be wednesday for you i don't think um but it's wednesday for me um how's everyone doing how are we feeling um it's been how long has it been now we've hit the three week mark and yeah we've hit the three week mark um okay so what am i gonna do today i honestly have no idea um oh actually if, no i do know what i'm gonna do today right so today's mission is to basically i want to clean my room right so i was saying in um another vlog i've got this mask in my hand how this is literally like my childhood bedroom i've been in this bedroom for 11 years it's been this room has been lilac this room has been turquoise and now the room is white um the room's been white for a while i feel like when i hit like 15 i was like look i need a white room everything needs to be white this is how i want to go and actually i'm quite happy with that decision that i made because i like this room but it's just full of you know it's just so I was saying this in the last vlog it's just so full there's just so much stuff in here and I feel like today's the day where I really want to clean this room out I'm not sure if I'm going to get it all done today I feel like this is quite a big task that I like to take on but I'm going to try and do a bit of a wardrobe clear out slash junk clear out like I've just got all these random perfume bottles random bits of jewelry which are just so old and just never wear anymore just random stuff that just needs to either go in the bin, go to a charity shop, or go on Depop. That's my three, that's my three categories for today. And I'm also going to give you guys some like wardrobe tips. Not that I really have wardrobe tips, but um, I asked on my Instagram last night what you guys wanted me to do in this vlog. And lots of you actually said like room clear out, wardrobe clear out, essential wardrobe items. So we can just have some, have some clothing talk today, right? that's my mission um i really want to get this room cleared out today like i don't want this dragging on for the next like three to five working days i just want to do this today and it'd be done because it's such a big task don't you think like cleaning your room out is such a big task and it's such a thought and but i feel like this is the perfect time to do it and i feel like you guys i've been putting off look at all this shit that's on here it's ridiculous I, i've honestly been wanting to clean out this room for ages months and months and months and months and months and i feel like now's finally the time to do it and i'm excited about it i know once it's done i'm gonna be like yes i did it it's done um so yeah that's today's mission guys that's what i'm gonna be doing in this vlog oh and me and chinzy have a workout date at 11 so that's in an hour and a half so i think i'm just gonna have some breakfast now start the day and yeah, welcome to a new vlog. Guten Morgen, everybody. It is Wednesday, and we have been in lockdown officially for over three weeks. Wow. I think it's gone pretty quick. Sophia says she thinks it's gone slow. But looking back to, like, the first day, I feel like, whoa, it's almost been a month already. Like, I feel like that's pretty quick. Um, but how are we all? What are we all doing? Today, I have one fun idea. And we're gonna tie-dye 
this jumper with bleach i've seen loads on tiktok and i've i think i know how to do it to get that like splattery pattern and not the like swirl because i want the like cloudy effect i think i know how to do it you just gotta we'll get there when we get there my nails are pink that's another update so we're gonna tie it out that my nails are pink what else has changed what else have i done i had a tuna steak last night for the first time in, in, in a long time. I, it was the first time I made it. What else? That's about it. Um, I've been doing nice workouts um, from that um, that woman, what's her name? Heather Robertson, I really like her. I think I've been doing them six, I think this is my seventh day in a row doing them and I genuinely love them. Before I was doing like half ass workouts, couldn't really be fucked so i was just doing it for the sake of it just to say that i've worked out but generally her workouts are so freaking good they're not too hard but they're still hard that i'm sweating but i'm not like dreading them and i actually enjoy it i don't know if it's because i'm using the weights and it, it feels more like you know when you do like home workouts and there's no weights and it's just a lot of jumping and a lot of cardio and you feel like literally exhausted and there's so many burpees and stuff I don't know, hers are just really nice and different, but they're still tough and I feel really good for it. Like I feel nice and strong and achy. I don't know, but I got Sophia on tour as well because Sophia's got a few pairs of weights, but you don't need weights for all the workouts. And we're gonna do a workout in 20 minutes at 11 together. So that's fun. So we're gonna do that. Then I'm gonna have a bath, get ready, do my jumper and um, yeah. Hello, my princess. Are you sunbathing? Are you sunbathing? Oh, that's a good girl. Hello. Sit down, then. Sit down. Show the vlog how beautiful you are. Yes, my golden girl. It's so beautiful. Do you guys remember when we couldn't name Bonnie? She literally had no name for about three weeks. We just did not know what to call her. I think some other options. What were the other options that we had? We were going to call her, like, um... Custard, we were gonna call her. My dad really wanted to call her Ruby. We were gonna call her Buffy. We were gonna call her like Daphne. Daphne was the original name. I think she looks like a Daphne though, don't you? I think she could still pull off that name to be honest if we decided to change it. Um, we literally had a mass cookie. What else did we have? Mi Miss Misty Tammy. We had so many names. Lucky, Lucky would have been a classic. It's a classic. Um, dog name, I feel like lucky, isn't it? Oh, you're just so beautiful, but you're my bunny baby, aren't you? Oh, ow. Yes, you're bunny baby. I think you would be a very pretty Daphne. You just, it's just a bit hard to shout on the park, isn't it? Daphne! Daphne! How do you know it's not? Daphne! Daphne, drop it! You know, it's a bit of a, of a mouthful. Oh, she's holding my hand. Hello. Thank you. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. Does anyone else's dog just like shove their toys in your face? Like, look what I've got. It's like, yeah, I can fucking see it. It's a massive orange thing. This is Bonnie's favourite toy. If any of you have got dogs, they might like this. Can I just hold it for a sec? No? Okay. This is the Kong. We call him um, Tom. This is Tom. Is that Tom? We're trying to get Bonnie to learn the names of her toys so we can just tell her the name. And then she goes and picks it up because we had her trained. Well, we went to dog training. It didn't really work. It, it hasn't really improved her behavior, to be honest. But um, the dog trainer said that her dog knew the name for all of her toys. So she could be like, go and get Barney. And it'd like, go and get the one that was called Barney. That's what we tried to do, but she's not really picked it up. Oh, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And she is now, how old are you now, Barney? You're 13 months old, aren't you? Oh, that's a big yawn. You're very big and beautiful. Would you like a sister? Oh, yeah? I think we should get you a sister, but don't tell mummy. Also, lots of you have asked when I move out if Bonnie's going to come with me. Would you like to come with me? Would you like to move into my house one day? Oh, yes, I think that's a yes. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think she'll probably live... I think we're going to co-parent. I think that's probably what the situation's going to be. Definitely, like, a few nights she'll stay with me, but then I'm not going to take her away from her home. This is her home, you know? So I feel like she will maybe... I feel like she can rotate, like a few nights here, a few nights there, or maybe like a weekend at mine. We'll see. I don't even have this house yet, so we don't have to get too ahead of ourselves, but loads of you always ask me that question. Um, so yeah, I think we'll probably co-parent, me and Fiona, um, and Grant, probably all, probably all co-parent. But yeah, that's the situation. I'm 
Someone from this video about what your dog's sleeping position reveals about their personality. It's actually very interesting. Do you guys want to watch? If your dog is cuddling up with you, or you notice him sleeping back to back with the other dogs in your house, it's actually really interesting. So I'm watching all these Made in Chelsea clips and I'm actually kind of back into it. I used to love Made in Chelsea, I used to watch it all the time. And then like I haven't watched it in maybe like two years. But I'm watching these clips and I'm like, you know what? This is pretty juicy. I might have to get back into it. Do you guys watch it? Because it's pretty interesting. Another update is that we, I, well I, I sorted out my downstairs room and it's really cute now and I love hanging out down here. So, right, it's not big at all it's not that impressive but this is the front door and then this i just sorted it all out all the clothes we just got some pictures down there that i've not hung up move my plant down here and then my beautiful little dressing table with my little poof that we got in that video got all my shit on here all organized in a bin in bins and my jewelry's in there candles that all my underwears down there electronics and then this is all my like current this is like my current rack, like quarantine clothes, things I'm wearing right now. Just like shorts and like cardigans. And then in here, it's just like all oh shit I need to sort through, honestly. But this is all organized and nice and I know what's here, but I, at least I have time to get through everything in here. It's just like lots of clothes I need to decide if I'm gonna sell, keep, get rid of. The thing is, I am a clothes hoarder because um, I, I always feel like, I'm like, oh, well, what if I want to wear that again, you know, in the, uh, that's how I think all the fucking time. And I just realised that, no, you're not going to fucking wear it. Um, but I've washed my face, I've got some lip balm, I'm excited to work out with Soph, and it's a beautiful day, so we can go out on the balcony, get some sun. I honestly feel like, because I've been sitting here in the sun, or I've been sitting out in the sun, I feel like I've been getting more freckles and I think it's just from being inside. So being inside is giving me more freckles and it's nice. But yeah, I'm gonna make some avocado taste, but I need sriracha for that, I don't have sriracha. I can't eat avocado toast without sriracha or rice. It just tastes like mush. What should we make for dinner tonight? I don't know, but we're gonna have a nice day. Also, look at my cool roller. It's, it actually does de-puff you in the mornings, like, have you all seen those videos of that thing called a gua sha? It's like, it's kind of like the same material as what this is, but it's like in like a, oh, what does it look like? How can I describe it? It looks like a scrapey thing that like you, you scrape along your skin and it like defines all the, all the bits. But this does the job for like deep puffing because this is cold. If I had like, I really want to get a skincare fridge. If anyone knows like where I should get one from because I've seen loads around they used to have them on ASOS and now they don't Because now at the moment I want one they don't have them on there anymore um, But yeah, if you put this in the in the fridge and it was just ice cold and you were really puffy This would really help it just gets all the I don't know because I'm really puffy in the morning and my lips get so puffy in the morning like I'm naturally big that's why I always think like oh my god I don't need any more filler ever and then they shrivel back down no I still have big lips I don't need any more filler but do you know what I mean I get really sweat but it's really nice especially I, I'll normally do that when I put on like my serum before I put my makeup on my serum and then it like is meant to help massage your serum in and it soak into your skin it's really really nice I really like it hey guys Sorry, I haven't vlogged since this morning. Mind you, it still is the morning, it's only 11. Um, just about to FaceTime chintz to do our workout. Um, what are we gonna be doing? I think we're gonna be doing Heather Robertson, right? Has Chintzy spoke about her? I'm not sure, but she got me onto her. She's basically incredible, right? And she does these workouts. There she is. Oh my gosh, you can hear Bonnie. She does these workouts which are no repeat. Oh my god, the sun. This is not good for me today. Um just gonna leave you there. Yeah, she does these workouts which are no repeat, so you never have to do the same thing twice. So it's like 40 seconds of work, 15 or 20 seconds rest, and you never have to do the 40 seconds again. You're like, if you do like a hip workout and sometimes you have to do like three rounds of burpees or something, it's literally no repeat, it's incredible. Um, she has other workouts as well, but they're a personal favorite. Um, so yeah, I've done these for the past three days and I'm honestly like 
I'm really feeling it and I'm really surprised. I did not think I'd be aching, but my legs are so sore. And I don't even know why. All I've literally got is these three kilo weights. That's literally it. And you don't even need weights. Some of her exercises, she has weights, some she doesn't. Um, but you can use like cans of soup, water bottles, literally anything. These don't really weigh much, but they just give some resistance, you know? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do. What time is it? Oh, seven minutes. I'm a bit early, I'm a bit, I'm a bit eager today. Um, God, the sun. I wish I had some shade. But there's, I tried to come around the back of the house for shade, but it's just not any right now. Um, but yeah, I'm back into the workout scene now, guys. Last For the past, like, two weeks, I haven't really been exercising, haven't really been doing anything. And then it got to the end of last week and I was like, wow, I need to change my ways. Like, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling good. I was feeling really sluggish, just not feeling great, you know? So this week... I was like, right, okay, it's a new week. I'm gonna start fresh. I'm gonna try and work out every day. And so far I have, it's only Wednesday, but I've done Monday and Tuesday and I'm doing it today. So that's three. Um, but I find once you've done one workout, you're literally back in the swing of things and that's it. It only takes one workout just to get like back into it. Um, so if anyone's not feeling motivated right now, just honestly think like, look, I'm just gonna do 20 minutes of exercise and then boom, that's it. They're so quick and it's such a, it's such a big thought but it's such a small portion of the day. Do you know what I mean? Like it's literally 20 minutes or half an hour. That is literally nothing. Like it takes you that long to wash your hair. So honestly guys, if you're not feeling motivated, neither was I, but I'm back onto it now. So honestly, look at Heather Robertson. She's incredible. She doesn't talk. She just gets right in with the workouts. She has loads of variations. She has dumbbells, no dumbbells. She has ab circuits. She has full body. She has low impact. She has high impact. Honestly, really loving her. So thanks, Jins, for the recommendation. And that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna have a bit of a workout date, which is actually a good idea, guys, because now like you can't really bail on your workout because you've arranged with your friend to have a workout at the same time, you know? And it's some, some motivation to keep going. You can push each other. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Also, here's my yoga mat. Loads of you have been asking me about this because it's got all these poses on. Um, but I don't actually know where it's from. My uncle basically gave it to me back. I mean, it says back health yoga mat. Does that mean anything to anyone? But it's really cool. It's got all these exercises on. But yeah, I don't know where he got it, I'm afraid. Maybe Amazon? Um, I'll ask him, but yeah, I love it. It's really cool. Sophia says she's ready, so we're gonna FaceTime her. Answer quicker. Oh my uh, goodness, what the <laughs> hell? It's Vlogception. I just realized, okay, I'll turn mine off. Is it um, cold I just outside? I I forgot my water bottle, so I just need to go and get that. Right, hurry up, because I'm ready to go. So we'll sit on well, the which sofa. one should we do? Well, yeah, shall we have a look? Yeah. Do you have a preference? Steps. All right, two I, steps. I like the narrow peaks. Same. Uh, right, you have a look. All right. I'll look on the iPad. Um, yeah, everyone's been doing Chloe Ting workouts, but I'm not really sure who she is, but maybe we should, maybe I'll try one of those one time. Apparently she's got a two week shred. Got it. Hello. Right, Heather. So we want a no repeat. Let me yeah. type in no repeat. Guys. I did a good one yesterday. Uh... No repeats make them good. Oh, I did a pretty tough one yesterday and it was like, it was, Full body strength, cardio and stuff, but then there was loads of burpees. Oh fucking hell! But it was an, it was kind of a there was, I only had to do it twice, but it was. What about this price. week ten day three no repeat total body hip workout? Oh, well, forty that, minutes. Well, that sounds great. Does it have weights? Yeah, she's got dumbbells in her hands. Perfect. Right. Where's that one? It's literally called week ten day three no repeat hip total body hip workout. Right, let me see if I can. Oh yeah, here it is. I feel like she's so underrated. Mm. Like I feel like I thought, she I should thought, have. I thought she had like a million subscribers. I know. I know. I feel like she should have millions of views on each of these vids. Is she not? Oh my god, no, she's not. No. Everyone she has what? millions on some of them, but not all of them. That's and they're sad. such. Are good... you in, working out inside? No, I'm gonna go outside. It's a bit. I was a bit cold yesterday, so I've put on my my. Yeah. Same. I've just got I've to got slip my, my I'm just today. slipping my trainers on properly. What's up guys? We need to make sure we play at the same time. What's up right? guys? Let me move outside. Great guys. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's really difficult. Oh my god, we're back. Oh god. 
Does this mean we're halfway? Um, let's check. Six oh, seven seconds. seconds, go. We're on the home stretch, aren't we? This is a hard one. We're fucking dying, it's a very hard one. We've got a little bit left. Oh shit, we're meant to be going in. Oh, we're almost there. Oh. 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 Should we get the wall? No. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Oh god. I'm back in my answer. I thought the white was a wall. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh cool. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Did it. Yay. God. That was really difficult. I was not expecting that. Oh my god. Yeah, we've done it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We did it. Look how blue the sky is. What are you going to do today? I'm going to clean out my room, I think. Oh, that's a nice idea. Very productive. Just such a big task. Sophia, I did it the other day. It's it all well. I did all day. And it did feel amazing. Because then you want to hang out in there. I know. I need to just do it. Do you know it. what I mean? Because then you feel so much happier when you go in it, honestly. And it's clean. Yeah. It? Like, I'm doing, like, little cleans of it every night. Just to keep on Just top. to keep on top. And it's if proactively doing that, it's really keeping me clean. Yeah. I feel great after all that. I don't know. How do they make you feel so good? Like... When I wasn't working out in the morning, I, you just feel shit all morning thinking that you should be working out. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I really want avocado toast, but I can't eat avocado toast without sriracha. So I sent Lewis on a sriracha and bleach mission. There are the only two things I need. Sriracha for avocado toast, bleach for tie-dye. And I just picked up everything off the floor, put it back on my rack because I'm all about keeping it clean. I actually really want to colour coordinate this so it's like a rainbow. Maybe I should get around to doing that today at some point, possibly, maybe not, maybe I will. Um, okay, but I want my avocado toast, avocado toast, yeah, yeah. Also, this... Um, dressing table is from swoon's edition swoon edition i had to wait a while for it the original color i wanted i think this this was marble it was all marble i think was the original one but that was sold out and i waited for ages for it to come into stock but it never did but then the black one did and i thought you know still beautiful it's like i just wanted something really dainty and small like it's not that big but um i just love it and with the gold hardware and it comes with this marble plate so this marble plate slits in and i just love it but yeah i had to wait a while for it it might be out of stock but yes yeah, swoon editions um it's gorge they have a similar one on now is it made.com possibly but it's that's it's the same kind of like minimal thin you know leg like style but that was out of stock for ages but i'm, I'm still chuffed with it i'm still i still love it so much okay guys that was good <laughs> I enjoyed that. Just said bye to Chintz. She just hung up. Oh, she's gonna do some tie dye today. I'm actually really excited to watch that. Um, I can't get up just yet. That was really difficult. That was the. You guys can literally do the exact same workout. You heard us talk about it. It was the day ten workout. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll link it in the description because that was actually a challenging one. That was tough. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that. So. Now, what time is it? It's quarter to 12. The day's actually gone quite quick today. Um, so I need to organise my room. That's what I need to do. Oh, am I going to have time to do it all? It's just such a task. I'm really putting it off, guys. I'm really procrastinating the idea of it. Right, okay. Let's get up. Oh my god. I'm tired. Let's do this, folks. Whew. Yay! And... Yay! Bleach, bleach, bleach! Unbeatable strength kills all known germs dead. Boom. Just making my toast. Gonna cut up this avocado. This, looks, this is a weird one. I've never had a green one before. Usually I get like the black what kind, but um, yeah, it's still squidgy. So that's a good sign. Got my bread going. Best breakfast ever. Piece of resistance. Pepper. And I'll sit on your chair a lot i slather it on oh yeah it looks like ketchup and i did get a few questions before like ew is that ketchup 
but that oh my god that is the perfect avocado toast for me thank you very much hello i've done my makeup and i've had a bath um and i wanted to show you how i well i've been doing freckles on my face basically and i just thought i'd show you how i do it because when I, I actually have freckles but when i put on my makeup you can't really you can see a few is that oh god that's worse you can't really see them but um i have this um morphe um eyeliner it's just in toast it's just brown and it's a bit sharp and then i just wait shall i put you here maybe oh that's so much better and then i just like go like that like lightly and it doesn't matter they can be quite dark because we're going to blend them out after anyway do you see those they can be big or whatever and then i do them just like around my eyes and on my nose it's a really fun step actually it makes you look really cute make, you know that freckle filter on instagram i love that it just makes you look really sweet and cute but we don't want them to look really fake so we don't leave them like this okay let me just add a few more little ones okay so we look like a crazy person right now but then I just this is what I put my foundation on with this just this little hoo -hoo, and then I just like blend them like that and it diffuses them out um, and looks really nice and natural and gives you your freckles back or gives you freckles if you don't have them in the first place. I think it looks really cute and like sun kissed and just like oh I've just been outside on the garden it's quarantine and then i just add back in a bit of bronzer to my nose and on the top because it can like whiten it out a bit and just put a bit more highlight back on my nose and that's it i think they're really cute what do you think do we like um this headband is really good i got it from boohoo uh what should i do with my hair today this is always the question i actually washed it a few days ago so it's feeling nice and fresh it doesn't really look fresh considering i just sweated so my roots oh i do actually have sweaty roots but it still feels all right um what hairstyle to do maybe i'll leave it down but it's quite hot today so maybe i'll put it up i called lydia i'm gonna call mom check in on everyone see how everyone's doing everyone seems fine let's miss them a lot oh i've still got bit of um my hair actually has gotten much thicker since when i took my extensions out because it was it wasn't the thickest but after that trim the other day it's pretty thick and pretty long um i'm still debating whether to um cut it shorter but i quite like this length especially when i flick it up oh shall i do a um i'll i'll show you how i've been living my hair actually it's just like half up half down um side part thing with like flicky up ends and loads of you have been asking how i do it and it is actually really easy you just need some straighteners i don't even use any product but i think what's best for the flicky up ends is a bit more of a grease gr bit more greasy hair because it's got a bit more texture and will hold but if you freshly wash your hair and then want it to stay up like that you might need that like, a bit more texture in your hair just a bit more grit and we'll probably have to add more um oh fucking hell i don't, I don't ever like this comb um but yeah i'll show you that shortly but i think i'm gonna get an instagram picture first oh because i'm gonna put a towel in my hair that's the idea i'll show you how we do it got a delivery um of some lingerie well some underwear that i ordered from monkey um i got them directly from the site i know some of these are on asos well right here's the long story short so this set was on asos it's gorgeous like look at this print it's like beautiful florals and then it's got like a high-waisted pant like that and it sold out on asos and i was like shit and i had it saved for a while and i needed to get it so i went on the monkey website and then i discovered even more beautiful oh it's not my plan over even more gorgeous underwear so i got this set which is like baby pink little daisies and the matching pants which are the same um and then i also got 
this lacy bra just like nice and no underwire and just easy and then the matching pants which are like lacy brief oh a lacy brief as well just really cute and then i have on this pair but i can show you it's look at that so gorgeous like a ruffle um no thong just like a nice big brief at the back they're not high-waisted though and i'm really chuffed and they didn't even take that long to come and they were really inexpensive like not even like 12 pound for the pants and yeah but absolutely love this is my favorite um so yeah stone i thought i'd just show you those got them direct from monkey yeah not too bad this is my picture setup duvet brought our duvet down onto the floor i'm just gonna perch myself there um, i'm not gonna do a selfie today so i'm gonna get my photographer lewis to do it for me um and then i'll do my hair and show you my favorite hairstyle then we'll tie dye yes this but it does have a bit of chocolate on um from last night i did wash it um, and then i got chocolate on it but it'll be fine because you've got to wash it anyway to get the bleach out so shouldn't be too bad we're gonna go for it anyway i'm just about to get in the shower but do you remember in the last vlog where i was telling you about shampoo and conditioner right well i got these from drunk elephant and they're honestly perfect if any of you are looking for the um for the shampoo and conditioner so you don't have sulfates in these ones don't so look here's the shampoo glossing shampoo and literally on the back free of sulfates and silicones says it right there trust me oh it's blurry oh you can see that so if any of you were looking for a shampoo and conditioner which was free of sulfates and silicones if you know what i'm talking about maybe go and watch the last vlog i did a whole hair spiel oh god i'm blurry um these are some good ones i've been using them and i really like it right so we're gonna do a cute hair tutorial so we're gonna part the hair to be honest this works really well with greasy hair because all kind of like slick up dewy half up half down things kind of do um right so middle part kind of far over oh how am i right okay i'm gonna do that to there then we're gonna section out the little front fringy bit whatever just like that and just put it to one side um in a grip then we're gonna section out the front bit so just like up to here and brush that back and then on the other side and then like brush that back so you've got your your up bit whatever I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say and then we're gonna brush these bits so that they're nice and smooth with no bumps this brush by the way I got a super drug I have two actually because I lost one and then I thought it was gone forever and then I found it again. Okay, I'm just gonna pop a bobble on this. Like this, nice and high, up. Okay, up there. This is like my favorite hair right now. It just makes me feel really cute and put together and like I've made such an effort. And really, once you've got the hang of it, it's really not too hard. Okay so that's up like that i'm just gonna put some of the matte pomade in there i am running very low of this and i know loads of the away things are on asos but i don't actually think they have the pomade in stock on there so i'm gonna have to get my hands on that right i'm gonna turn my straighteners on because then we need to straighten all this and make it all flicky but i'm just gonna grip this just slick that over like this grab a grip like that you can then you can just honestly just tuck the hair behind because you know when you do the pony you have to like tuck it all the way around i'm just going to put a second grip in that so that we are definitely secure for the day of quarantine perfect lovely show you how to do the the flick gosh it's very tight i feel very snatched in my face it pulls this side up but leaves this side droopy so i do find that uh, you probably this is probably just just me but i feel like this whole side of my face is like and this side is like Rrr. right so i'm just gonna straighten out all these kinks at the back because i have had it up and like sweated with it um and i'll just do a little flick at the bottom i got my picture by the way i've got my lid i'll show you so it was my little man-made bed here 
just because there's really nice light in here so i just put the duvet down I just got Lewis to do a burst. And then I've been liking like upping the warmth so it looks like a, almost like a golden hour. So it's a bit more golden-y. So I just do that in VSCO. Honestly, just up up the exposure a little or if you want it quite dark, I haven't really been doing that that much. So yeah, up the exposure a touch and then up the warmth. That's what I've been doing. Um, and then play, just play around with it. It does depend on what picture you get um, and then if i fancy a filter maybe m5 or dog um, but only a touch like the trick is is that you slide them down so they're not on full capacity so you're sliding them down so it's just a touch of the filter um and yeah just exposure but warmth has been key right now because i've wanted more of like a warm like golden hour -y feed but that that's literally all it is but it is all about the lighting and stuff just getting a room which is good light or a good spot in the sun um find it's best best to face towards the windows but not be right up against the window kind of also say I, if i was taking a selfie in here i wouldn't sit right up here against the window i'd maybe go back to the wardrobes and it just is the most beautiful lighting when you do it that way and just make sh making sure I angle Lewis so he knows what he's doing. I just like, you've got to put him in the right position. Just like, you set up the shot before, you know what you want, and then you just literally say, hold it here and do a burst. Bursts are key as well, because um, then you don't have to take as many picks, and the likelihood of you having a good pick is higher. Right, so I've kind of straightened the top bits. I'll show you how I do my flicker. So, I just uh, bring it around. I'm lucky I don't have that much hair these days. Um, so we're gonna flick it up and out like that. So I'm literally just gonna take the end and just like, just do that. Oh, it didn't really work, that's awkward. It has been working. You just gotta hold it slower. There we go. You know? Uh, and then I might go over it a few times, maybe with like a smaller piece. Cute! It just makes it really cute. Makes your hair look really full and bouncy. Um, and you don't, I don't actually need to put any product in it. I might just put a bit of the pomade in. But there you go, there's the difference. It just makes it you look a bit more put together. I don't know, I don't know why it's cute very cindy lou is it cindy lou vibes hello and then i'll just grab this one the t the top bit split that into two and just do a little flicky on that because it looks cute when that's got a bit of bounce as well so just slowly go through that like that so cute honestly cute and yeah that's it um you can like if I was going out, maybe I'd like wrap a bit of hair around there and like grip it down so it looks, um, you know, more put together. But yeah, that's it. It's, it. I think it's really cute. If I had some hairspray, I'd probably just, I might just pop a bit of, um, oh my God, let me show you my um, root spray. Okay, so I got this root spray um from just from boots and it's so so it's like when i do shit like this you can really see all my scalp here so it's kind of just like filling that in so it looks like you've got fuller hair and it's not as sparse right the first time i did it i didn't realize how powerful it was it literally went all over my face and i was like what the fuck man so i didn't realize the squirt was going to be so powerful but i'll show you what i mean i'm just putting these in a bit tighter but it's really good for filling your roots. It's meant for grey roots, I think. What is it called? Root cover-up. So yeah, I think it's like if you've got discoloured roots or something. Because up until now, I've just been putting um, um, eyeshadow in there. And it, and it works better. If anything, it's easier, if I'm honest. Because this can be a bit unruly. So it's called the Magic Retouch Instant Root Concealer Spray l'oreal oh shit i was holding it to myself in the mirror there we go right so i'm just gonna get my magazine down here 
um, and we're going to fill in this line there so oh my god right I can't actually see so we're just gonna gonna hold it away did I oh, I didn't even get it I didn't get it close enough no we were almost there okay let's get that bit there oh yeah yeah looking good is that are you seeing how like thickly it's coming out? I can't actually see what I'm doing. There we go. I need to just get that little bit there. Um, it does scare me this stuff. There we go. Yeah, not so bad. I feel like I've not even done it. Oh, there we go. I, it scares me. Look how full my hair looks. It really does do the trick. Cute. Now, let's do some fucking tie-dyeing. I'm fucking buzzing for this. I wish I had a matching pair of pink joggers that I could do it with as well. Um, but I don't think I do. I think the only pink jog joggers I have is the, um, oh, I saw it first one, so the girls on the on the bum, but I don't want to ruin them in case it goes wrong. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to spritz myself with Sicilian Sunrise. This reminds me of LA and Lydia and Sophia and being in that little flat. Oh, right, um, I'm gonna take this off because it's annoying and we'll get to tie-dyeing issue. I actually forgot to, Lewis, to tell Lewis to get um, elastic bands. So I'm gonna have to use bubbles. I hope that's not an issue. Where's my pack of bubbles? Because you have to like scrunch up the jumper and like tie it in place. Let's find a good tutorial. I do not want to get this wrong. I have seen them on TikTok. Right, I'll get back to you when I know exactly what I'm doing because I'm not messing around. Found the video. You this is how you make a your tie-dye sweater. When you're making one of these shoes. Hey guys, so like I said earlier, today is the day where we are gonna have a bit of a clear out of this. Um but first, oh it's just such a daunting task, I don't even know where to start. Do I clear the clothes first or just like the bits and bobs? Yeah, just all this crap. I just want to get rid of it. What do I do with all of this? Look at these drawers. They're just full. I just want to get rid. Oh, oh my God. Actually, I have the best tip for clothes right before we get started. Mum, you should listen to this as well. Can you hear me? Rude. So right, what you have to do is you have to go through your wardrobe. If any of you are clearing out your clothes, go through your wardrobe, right? Look at the item and think, would I buy it again? So if you walked into a shop and saw it there, yeah. would you pick it up and buy it again? Mm -hmm. And if the answer is no, then you should just get rid of it. That's how you have to be ruthless to clear out. If you want to really cut down your wardrobe, clear it out. If you find it hard to like let go of things, yeah. you have to look at the item and think, would I buy this again? Like, would I buy this today if I walked into Zara and it was hanging there? Yeah. Would I pick it up, try it on and think, yeah, I'm, I'm going to buy that. And if you say no, then you have to get rid of it. Yeah. That's the system I'm gonna go by today. That's a good system if any of you are, if you, any of you are wanting to clear out your clothes. Cause, I, Cause you can find it quite hard to get rid of clothes sometimes, can't you? Because you think, oh, well I, but I might yeah. wear it then, and I might yeah. wear it then. And sometimes that's the case. But if you wanna just be ruthless, you have to just think, look, would I buy it again? And if you wouldn't buy it again, then you can get rid of it. But I like to save things just in case. When I'm up the ladder painting. Well, yeah, there's the, the well, yeah, there's those things. They're just in case. But I'm saying if you want to have a big clear out, yeah, and like, be. like, um, Christian's my boyfriend's mum, for example. I was talking about this with her. She has so many clothes and she just can't let go of them. And I said yes. that to her, and she was like, and now she tells me whenever she goes into her wardrobe yeah. and she clears out, she thinks, would I buy it again? If you wouldn't buy it again, wow, don't well get rid done, of it. Wendy. I'll try and follow that then. Yeah, it's a good idea. So but that's also, today's mission, say, even though I'm putting it off, it's already nearly one o'clock and I haven't started yet. Also, they say if you've not worn it in the last 12 months. Yes. However, that's horrendous. Like your jeans, do you know what I mean? You don't just keep buying a new pair of Levi's every... Well, well no, but if you haven't worn something year. in a year, you're probably not going to wear it again, are you? What about my leather trousers? I've had them since I was 18. Well, yeah, but that's like a novelty item. And jackets and coats, you can't just get rid of them after a year. It's fashionable stuff, I think they need. Yeah. Not like your, uh, I mean, it's not that deep, really. It's just a rule of thumb. It's just a general rule. I know. If you're trying to clear out, you just take it as you know, take it as seriously as you want to take it. Yeah. Right. But just saying. Anyway, 
Yeah. So today's mission is the room disposing. I need some bags. Lunch first. Oh my god, we're just putting myself so much. <laughs> first we'll have lunch, then we'll have a cup of tea, then we'll sit in the garden and read our book and then no, we'll start. I'm doing admin clearing. Right, I'm ready to go. I'm out on the balcony. I've done my research and I have all my ingredients to create my beautiful ooh, fucking cobwebs down there. To create my beautiful tie-dye. Like, where shall I pop you? So I've got the jumper. Um, we're gonna do the, I just watched Nicole, Nicole Guerrero's video and yeah, she used actual dye, um, not bleach, um, but she uses this technique called the crinkle technique, she says, and it, I will show you, you just like kind of bunch it up instead of swirling it, like the the typical tie dye. I mean, this is what we're going for. This is pretty little thing. So we're going for like this blotchy kind of feel. So here's my jumper. Um, he said, the guy I watched, he said you need a squirty bottle, cause, which makes sense, because um, we're gonna dilute down the bleach. I think he said half water, half bleach. So I just emptied out, well I just decanted some fairy liquid into my other fairy liquid, and I have now a clean squirty bottle. We've got bleach, and instead of elastic bands, I've got hair bands, but hopefully that works. Um, I'm just gonna double check the ratios of water and bleach and i'll go back to you okay yeah so we're doing one part bleach to one part water so i'm going to fill this up halfway with bleach and then the rest with water oh god i should have put my gloves on that's all right boom 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 baby got that super bass boom 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 i'm so excited i really really hope this looks all right if i'm honest and um, we might not be able to see the final result until tomorrow okay that's halfway but i'll still show you tomorrow um sophia if this goes well you should also take a crack okay so i'm just going to fill the rest up with water okay lid is on we have bleach and water in here this is perfect i'm getting bleach on my hands so i'm gonna put my gloves on it's really hot i literally should be in a bikini out here i'm gonna lay this out and then show you the scrunch method that Nicole Guerrero showed. So all we're gonna do is, she was just like, you just kinda a bunching it like this and creating like more of a scrunch um, kind of thing. And then we'll do it to the whole thing and like do the sleeves as well. Like we'll just scrunch it all into a big ball and then we'll tie it in place with the elastics, all right? Okay, so far I've got this, um, I'm just gonna scrunch all that in and then tie it in place. But do you see what I mean? It almost looks like intestines, intestines if, if you get what I mean. I really freaking wish I had elastic bands for this because it's really big, this big bunch. Um, but I have, what, five bubbles? Fuck, right, I'm just gonna, oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. As long as we hold it in place. So I'm just scrunching and wrapping like that. God, I am starting to sweat. It is a hot day today. Oh shit. We just broke the fucking bubble. Okie I've managed the scrunch and I have secured it in place. I think we oh got a bit of hair there. There's literally about seven bubbles in this, but I think this is gonna work out. I might just try and maybe put one more around here just to make sure we've really got a good scrunch on that. I'm not gonna submerge it all, but we're gonna cover, I don't really know what I'm doing if I'm honest, but I'm just gonna hope that it seeps through. Ooh, this is really fun. If I'm doing this wrong, I apologize. Okay. It smells very nice. I love the smell of it, just like clean. Just cleanliness. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. Okay, so I am actually gonna pop these on just to flip it over because I don't really want to touch it. What do we think, what do we think? I hope this is like, because all the tie-dye stuff on like Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo and everywhere, it's all sold out, isn't it? And because I wanted like the full pink tie-dye set that I got from Boohoo and stuff. So, and all on ASOS, it's all sold out, all the tie-dye. So hopefully, we can all get our DIY jobbies on and make our own at home, if this works out. Right, do I need to put the whole thing on? I pro we probably don't, do we? Because I think I've done the job. What I think I'm gonna do is just leave it for a sec. Oh, it's already lifting. 
Ooh. Already got a bit of lift there on the sleeve, bit down here. So I think it takes quite quick. And then um, we are meant to take it to um, the wash up. Uh, what am I on about to the bath and rinse with cold water so we get it all out until um yeah until we've got it all out and then put it in the washing machine um Nicole said she waited seven hours until she put hers in the washing machine but I don't know if I have to do that with my bleach one but I'll have a look no surely we can do it straight away which is a bit of I'm literally sweating right I'm gonna leave that for five minutes I'll see you later my baby please be beautiful and, and not look shit because I do like that jumper <sighs> God, it's fucking hot out there so right i'm gonna keep my eye on it and when it's like all lifted because it doesn't have to sit there for ages is it i will take it to the bath and rinse it out but i can see some light bits i'm really excited right i think it's been soaking for about maybe seven minutes and my obs observations are is it's very white around the the edges um but it's still looking pretty pink here so i'm gonna leave it for a little longer but maybe when i open it up it's like really tie dye -y -y. but it's also getting dirty from this fucking wood um, but it's looking good and my whole room now stinks of bleach for some reason so I'm gonna get a headache but it's looking good and I'll check on her in another five and then I'll rinse her off also guys here's the new puzzle <gasps> isn't oh my god excuse me ma'am isn't she looking gorgeous we haven't really been as invested in this puzzle as we were in the last one we've got to be honest i think we're just taking a bit more time with it because i think the last puzzle we literally sat down and like we couldn't leave it whereas this one we're just like doing a bit and going away and doing a bit and going away so it's coming together a bit more slower but um i like it oh it's just so pretty ariel winnie the pooh dalmatians we've got um What's she called? Oh, Rapunzel, of course. Lots of you asked for the link, but I couldn't actually find the link because it's actually sold out right now, but here it is. Right, I just called mum and she said it's gonna rot if I leave it on for too long. I don't know how accurate she is, but I seem to trust my mother and I'm going to rinse this out now. I'm gonna take my thingies. It's getting dirty, but yeah, she, she said it was gonna rot and make holes in it. I was like, Angie. I was like, Mum, I've just tied on. I don't want to make holes in a rut. Right, let's rinse this baby out. Oh, and I'll get back to you. Okay, right, it's room time. So, God, this is just such a task. But right, I'm going to do it. Okay, so the main thing I want to focus on today, because I'm not going to get it all done today, I just know I'm not. The main priority for today is my wardrobe, because I feel like my wardrobe is full of clothes which I don't wear like, like this side of my wardrobe I don't wear any of the clothes in here anymore I mean I you I do wear some bits but I'm not like in here every day pulling stuff out does that make sense so I feel like this needs a good sort through god it just looks so dark and sad in here this is mostly coats actually like leather blazers normal blazers t-shirts yeah I do wear some of this stuff but not really at the moment. Maybe I could move this somewhere else. I need to use my brother's room because my brother's moved out now. So I feel like I need to use his room to the best of its advantage because I can just put all my shit in his room because he's just left it there and he's not coming back. So that's what I need. I need to make this more summer appropriate and more like my actual day-to-day -day wardrobe and not just like winter storage, you know? If you guys get glimpses of the floor, it's just full of stuff. I just need to charity shop depop or bin so actually keep an eye out on depop my depop sophia T it's just sophia tuxford is it sophia tuxford one i think um but yeah i update that regularly actually fiona does most of it mum does most of the depop she's always on there so um yeah keep an eye out on there if you are wanting any of my bits because i'm sure i'm going to find a lot today to to put on there and yeah for now obviously we can still go to the post office and still like send them off fiona just goes on like her daily exercise route so um yeah for the meantime everything can still everything can still be shipped so i'm not sure if you guys are like shopping right now or really buying but um keep an eye out on the depop right i'm gonna tackle this first because this is just what i have to look at every day and i literally don't really use anything in here apart from like that and um, obviously my purse i obviously use that and maybe like a foundation at the back i literally need to really sort this out i have some pictures up here <laughs> this is me and chintzy on our ski trip on a ski lift this is us at the playhouse at our dance show in our leotards what else do i have here just like birthday cards just random stuff which is cute oh my god revolve things 
I just need to sort it out so it looks nice and it's just less messy, right? I've got my bin liner. I'm ready to go. I've been told not to fill this too much, otherwise apparently it's gonna split. Not the best bag to use, really. But, um, right. Oh, God, where do we start? Okay, well, first things first is... Oh, God, I just don't know where to start. You know, and there's just so much stuff that it's like, what do I pick up first? All right, let's start from the back. Perfume. Ah, okay, that perfume's pretty full. I'll keep that. Okay, this is empty, but I just like the way it looks. This is the best heat protection spray by the way, Gizu, but sadly it ran out, so I don't know why I've kept that. Abercrombie & Fitch perfume. Mm. Bombshell Nights. See, even now I'm like, I've never used this in my life, but I'm like, oh, should I keep it? What even is this? Shimmer Fragrance Mist. Oh god, it is shimmer. Oh my god, that smells really nice. Oh my god, I've just sprayed you. Oh fuck. Oh, that smells nice, you know. Okay, maybe I'll keep that. Oh my god, I'm never going to get rid of anything. Alright, mum likes to use that, so I'll leave that. Oh my god, another one of these. What is happening? This is the problem. Right, bad gal. Oh my god, maybe I should keep that. Does Fiona want that? But I've just found these glosses. Do you remember when we used to use these all the time? These were the only glosses we would ever use. Kiko Hydra Gloss. Honestly, still, stand by them. Still really good. This is number 19. This is the... What shows this? Oh, one. I think this is the, this is the one I use on a regular basis. They were good glosses. Instant colour. Um, do I get rid of them then? Would I buy them again? No, but they're full. It seems a waste to get rid of those. What if someone wants them one day? Do you know what? I actually thought I was really good at clearing out my stuff, but now I'm here. I'm actually like, <gasps> what do I do with it? Oh, Coachella wristband. Okay, we've got to keep that. Um, pencil. Okay, lip liner. Never going to use that again. Weird lipstick. Never going to use that again. This shell bracelet. Never going to use that. Old earrings. Never going to use that. A random lid, never going to use that. Okay, boom. That ring, that... God. Oh, wow. Look at that I just found. It's like a B. It's got a B on it. What's this? Oh, a little S charm. Hmm, cute. Okay, right. Well, now we have a clear box. That's a start. Now we could fill this with something. Why don't we put perfumes in here? That could be quite... That could be pretty good. I'm on this drawer, by the way. This is just like, this drawer is just the biggest mess of my whole life. Can we see this? It's just full of just, this, there's layers in here of just absolute, I honestly don't even know what's down here. I'm a bit worried to actually get into it. Like, what is this? Timberland all-purpose protector. Mum? Yeah. Would you like an all-purpose protector for your Timberland boots? Oh, wow. I don't know what to do with everything. I know, that's the thing. It's all useful stuff. Here, do, you, do you want this? Oh, yeah. Downstairs? They're hot. I've just made Wow, those. freshly served. This is a rare occurrence. People are going to think you bring my lunch every day. Mum I, never I, brings me lunch. Yes, I do. <laughs> I look after her so well, as you can see. Yeah, but up to my room like this, five-star service. Mum, I don't know what to do. I can't clear it out. Oh, my God, it's hot. No, don't eat that yet. It's hot. Oh, wow. What's this called again? It's like mackerel. Mmm, it's good. I don't think I've ever had mackerel before, I don't think I have. Mmm, yum. Do you know what guys? This is a two man job, I've barely even scratched the surface but I just don't know what to do. Like, what do I do with it all? Like, some of the stuff I haven't used in ages but like, like this, Bombshell Nights. I kind of want to spray it all over me now, I've never used that in my life. This is such a big task. I think I underestimated this. I think tidying is easy, but actually having a clear out. God, I'm such a moaner, but this is such a chore. Oh my God. I'm going to wait till Fiona gets here because I feel like Fiona needs to just hold something up and I'll just give her the yes or no sign. Okay, this is the post rinse result. So I took off all the bands and I was like, oh my God, there was like on the front there was like no white blotches at all it looked normal so i took it out here and just squirted a bunch of bleach just straight from the bottle on it because i was sick of it at this point so just squirted it all on left that for about 10 minutes and i think mm, it's not this it still needs to be um put in the tumble dryer and stuff i mean the washing machine um but we've got a bit of yeah do you see what i mean it's gone really white around the neck and around the sleeves 
Um, but we've not done too bad here. Here we go. So I've just rinsed out all the bleach. Um, it's a bit muddy from the um, the back. To be fair, I put quite a lot of bleach on that bit there. Maybe I didn't need to add the bleach, if I'm honest. Um, but I'm not that disappointed with it. So I'm going to put it in the washing machine now. Um, and then hopefully it will dry by the end of the day. And we can... Um, try it on and rock it i'm i'm i'm, I'm kind of happy i want to see what it looks like when it's dry though um but maybe i did something wrong maybe i didn't because the pattern isn't really but then i did squirt loads of bleach on it and maybe i shouldn't have added more bleach hi it's me again i'm still waiting for fiona to come and help me she's still eating her lunch and i haven't actually finished mine yet um so i thought we could answer some questions because i don't really know what to do today i'm a bit stuck um but yesterday on my instagram I did like a little Q&A and there's loads of questions on there that I didn't answer so I thought maybe I should answer some now right is this fun I'm not sure lots of house questions lots of moving out questions um oh this one are you buying or renting when you move out I'm gonna be looking at buying um just because that works pretty well for my situation um and just obviously taking the obvious, like buying, you're investing your own money, whereas renting, you're kind of just like paying someone else's bills, if that makes sense. But renting does definitely have its pros. Like renting works really well if you're moving in with someone for the first time, you want to try it out. Or if you're moving to a new city, renting definitely has its perks. But just for my situation, like I'm staying in Nottingham, I'm moving out by myself. Like there's no, there's no reason for me to rent. So I'm going to be buying. Um, oh, how do I tell my crush I like him? Oh my god, that is such a task. Um, okay, right, do you know what I think? I think the best way to tell someone you like them is to try and use a third party, if that makes sense. Like, for example, when I like when I fancied my boyfriend, when I fancied Christian, but, you know, I, I couldn't just go up to him and be like, hi, I fancy you. I just got, like, other people to kind of do it for me. And this is what Chintzy did as well, and it honestly works really well. So, say if this is a guy that you like, do you have like any mutual friends or a girl that you like if you have any mutual friends just like get them to do it so just like get them to make a really subtle hint like oh like why don't you come out tonight like sarah said she wants you to come out tonight and he'll be like sarah said what and they're like yeah sarah wants you to come out tonight and then he'll be like why does sarah want me to come out and they like, oh she just wants you to come she you know blah, blah, blah. and then it's like oh okay like you have to just be subtle i think be subtle take it slow and just get other people just to like feed them you know just the odd line here and there like oh yeah Sophia mentioned that oh my god I'm using my own name now just like you know oh my god yes Sophia wants you to come out tonight yeah oh my god no Sophia said that yeah oh my god yeah you should tell Sophia that you know just things like that and then he's gonna think why is everyone telling me about you know that's that's what I would do that's what I did and that's what Jinzy did and it works just get other people just to drip feed information i think right because you can't just go up to them and be like i fancy you do you fancy me because they'll be like if i just wanted that to you you'd be like well i mean points for being direct but you might scare them off a bit what should you do if you're too scared to start a conversation with a boy for the first time oh that's really sweet um what to do if you're too scared right i think the best thing to do is like reply to their story this has turned into a bit of a girl's bathroom segment this feels weird without chintz i think what you have to do is reply to their stories right i tell all my friends to do this and it works okay so if you've got them on instagram you follow each other on instagram first of all follow them make sure you follow them on instagram and then when they post a story just reply to it because you just reply like ha 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 or like oh my god so funny like oh my god ah, la, 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 la. just something because then if they don't reply it's not a big deal because you were just replying to their story and then if they do reply you've got like a bit of a conversation going but you didn't have to be there like hi can I have your number would you like to talk to me can you reply you know it's just a way more like natural way of starting a conversation I think and then you can pick up what you spoke about on the Instagram story in person or you could like talk to them in person and be like oh my god yeah I'll send it you I'll send it you and then like you're ref you know that's what this is what you gotta do how old were you when you and Chintzia met? We were, I mean, first day of school. I think I was, I think I started school at like four and a half and she was five because she's, she started in the September, but I started a bit later in the January. I don't know why, maybe because I was a bit younger. Um, yeah, first day of school. Um, which is actually kind of crazy, isn't it? It's mad. 
How long have you and Christian been together? Um, we don't have an anniversary date, which is kind of sad, but um, I have to just go on my age. So since I was 18, I mean, it wasn't like on my 18th birthday, but when I turned 18, I have to just go on ages, so 18, 19, 20, 21. So yeah, three years. I think we're coming up for four years, to be honest, which is actually crazy. I honestly thought we'd be together for about two months. I thought it was like gonna be some sort of summer fling situation and here I am four years deep and I'm, I'm still here. Um, but these are all about Christian. You guys really wanna know about him. How many years older is he? He's four years older than me. So he's pretty old. I'm 21, so he's 25. We both, we both turn our next, like we both, we both, our birthdays are like a week apart as well, so he'll be 26 soon. Oh my God. Um, have you ever fallen out with a friend that you didn't, that you still don't, have you ever fallen out with a friend that you still don't see eye to eye? I don't really get that um, question. Have you ever, but I have fallen out with friends. Yeah, I have. Um, what, what happens, what seems to be the pattern in my life, which has happened on two separate occasions, actually three separate occasions, is I never argue with any of my friends ever, like I'm not someone who, like me and Chintzia don't argue, we just, do you know how some friends just really like have their fights and make up and have their fights, I don't argue with any of my friends and Chintzia doesn't either, but then in the past what's happened to me is never ever argued and then one argument and then that will just be it. Like, we'll just never make up. Like, that's what's happened to me in the past with different friends. Like, the different friends that I've had never argue, but then we had one argument, and then it was kind of like, oh, okay, bye. Which is actually, I don't really know why, but that's happened to me on three separate occasions now. I can't wait to see Chinsu's tie-dye hoodie. I hope it looks good. I hope she concentrates. I'm still trying to find my pink hair dye. Online. It's out of stock online everywhere. So, I wanted to do that in this vlog, but I haven't gotten it yet. But... I will. I'm definitely going to do it. Hopefully, the next vlog I'll be able to. I'll be able to do that. Any tips on jealousy in a relationship? Ooh, tips. Um, jealousy in a relationship. I haven't really experienced that, to be honest. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think. I don't think I've ever really experienced that. Tips on jealousy. I think a bit of jealousy is quite healthy because it's like oh you know he's mine get away from him like that's kind of healthy you know keep the spark um that's a difficult one no mm, fiona can help i've got a mini q a series going here fiona um any tips on jealousy in a relationship <laughs> any tips on jealousy who's jealous no yeah, this is just i've got all these questions love. yeah but what do you mean well that's all she said any tips on jealousy in relationships um I don't really know what to say, it's a bit, bit vague. Yeah. What if they're jealous of... The... I'm not sure. No, I don't get that. I think if there's jealousy between you. Why would you be jealous of your partner? I don't know. But some are, I suppose, aren't they? Some um, boyfriends might be jealous of, I don't know, job success. It depends on the age, isn't it? Or you know? maybe jealous of like male friends that you've got. Is that what she's trying to say? Oh. Or like if you're boyfriend had a girl best friend you'd be there'd be jealousy there because you'd be like why are you my boyfriend's best friend when you're mm. a girl mm. yeah any tips god um it's tricky isn't it that's quite difficult maybe i shouldn't answer that one any tips um well you could text back um i can't text back it's on a oh, oh yeah i could oh, I'm, i've lost it there i've kept scrolling oh why is it a live thing or something no it's people sending questions well, I would just say, um, stop the jealousy, but you need to, um, that's your own personal thing that's making you jealous and you yeah, need to drop it. it. Yeah. Stop comparing yourself with others. It's very unhealthy and learn just, you know, just love, you, love, you love yourself and be proud of what you have. We're all individual. I think jealousy. It's a nasty one. It's not a good vibe. It's not cool. I think you might have a jealous boyfriend if you've got an insecure boyfriend. Yes, maybe. I think they're two in the same. Does yeah. that make sense? I yeah. think jealousy stems from insecurity. Yeah, and from, as I say, the individual is carrying it with them. Yeah. And it's not a nice trait. You can't fix someone else's jealousy. Just like someone else can't fix yours. Yeah. You've got to deal with it mm. inside, really, haven't you? That's right. And it's I mean, not fair enough, thing. jealous of, oh, someone's got a new phone, I haven't got it, oh, I'm jealous. Yeah. But to be actually jealous, yeah, it's like the green-eyed monster. What do they call it? It's green. 
the Grinch. No, they say jealousy. <laughs> I don't know. They say jealousy is like a, a green monster, like it's a really ugly trait, they it say. It is, yeah. yeah, I agree with that. How do you tell your crush that you like them? Ooh. I, I've already answered this, but what's your perspective? How do you tell someone you fancied them? What, in a text or face to face or hints? Oh, whatever. Well, any type of situation, you can create your own world. What did it used to be back in the day? Because you couldn't text. Flirty behaviour, I suppose. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, past, that's pretty. Yeah, that's true. Um, go to the same, hanging out in the same pubs. Trying to get noticed. Yeah, standing next to them, maybe. Mm. Yeah, drop your bag, pick it up. Who knows? I don't <laughs> sorry, know. Sorry, I'm such a clums. <laughs> Gosh, sorry. Oops, they I'm just squeeze again. through. Oh, God, you're back again. <laughs> It's me. <laughs> yeah, just be being hanging out where they hang out, I would say. So stalk them, basically. Definitely. Stalk them. Sit outside the house in your car, <laughs> turn your lights off. Been there, what done all that. What's he doing? My God. Perfect. Someone said, is your brother single? No, he's not. He's in a relationship. I'll keep you posted if it changes. My Cameron's not on any social media, though, so you literally won't find him. He's on literally nothing. Oh, what age do you want to get engaged and married? <gasps> now. I can't wait to get married. <gasps> when do you think I'm going to get married? Go on, um, predict. Oh, no, but do you know what you do say? Have you heard this phrase? It's like, when you make a plan, it's like God just laughs. It's like, don't bother planning because it's not going to happen that way. Really? Yeah. It's like, when you make a plan. Oh, I can't think what the thing is, but it's basically like, there's no point planning because you can never... Oh, I don't know. No. I would say sort of mid-twenties. Mid? My God, that's in like three years. No, not just. I think I think late twenties, early thirties is like the the nice ideal age for me. Twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. I mean, Kim Kardashian got married at like thirty two. Yeah, but she married before, no. Since yeah, but still, yeah. she got married to Kanye and had the kids like in her thirties. You know, we're not like in the twenty to thirty. She was she's thirty to forty doing it. Yeah, any age goes, I suppose. Any age goes. In a dream world, I think late twenties. Late twenties, early thirties. We we shall see. There's a lot of weddings going to be put on hold, unfortunately, this year with the corona. How awful for. Did you make me a tea? All those plant. No, Dad did it. <laughs> that is so rude. Oh my god. I know. Being a 2020 bride. Yeah. That's just not good, is it? Mm -hmm. I really. I, oh really my god. I really. Is. If any of you are supposed to be getting married in 2020. My heart has broke for you. It's, imagine. Mm. God, I would be so angry at the world. I would, oh, I'd be so angry. Your wedding day. All that, all the years of planning. Think some people plan their wedding for like three years. I know, I know. And they thought, 2020, yeah, new yeah. decade. Let's go. But on the bright side, it can still happen. Oh, it's yeah, not it's just, going to happen it's just, yeah. At the time they planned it too. Yeah, it's just a frustration. It's like, oh, yeah. that's annoying. Because some people are still going ahead with the small ceremony. Ceremony, yeah. So they are married. And then just not having the big, the big words. Yeah, it will happen. It's just not. What is your middle planned. name? I don't have a middle name. Why don't I have a middle name, Fiona? Because your name was nice enough. <laughs> Zam. That's what Granny told me. Do you not have me. a middle name? No, that's no. Why. no. Gosh, Mum's middle name, Mum's maiden name is Cameron. That's why Mum's called. That's why my brother's called Cameron. I wish I could do that, but I can't call my child Tuxford. You can. It's not, it's not no. a name though, is it? Like, Tuxie, if it's a boy, that'd be so cute. Tuxie? Yeah. I don't know, Tuxie. Denim overalls. I saw um, a name today, I like Decker. Decker? Yeah, D-E-C-K-E-R. Isn't that a chocolate bar, Double Decker? <laughs> yeah, it is, but it was um, a nice name. Was Naming a child is such a responsibility, I can't. Oh my God, um, Tammy Hembrow's sister just had a baby. Guess what she's called her child, her baby girl? Baby girl. Aurora. Oh, Isn't that I thought gorgeous. someone's child called Aurora. Princess Aurora. Yeah. The Sleeping Beauty's Aurora. That's what she's called. No. That's supposed to go on the back of your head. <laughs> this, everyone, was my hairpiece for prom. How amazing was I, 16 years old, to think I'm going to have a hairpiece? It and it's gorgeous. I still stand by. I'm going to wear that again one day. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. Stunning. Got it on ASOS. It's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. I wore it in my, um, oh no, actually not year 11, year 13. 13 prom. Sorry, I wasn't that stylish in year 11 to think of that. Oh, mum, I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. Thoughts on attempting to move on slash trying to continue a relationship after cheating? So basically oh, how do you forgive the same relationship? Okay, um, 
Oh, um, I think the biggest, right, I think the biggest thing is you have, if you're going to forgive someone after they've cheated on you, which I'm not sure if I recommend, but each of their own decision. If you're going to forgive someone, I think you have to genuinely forgive and forget. And, forget, and you have to genuinely forget. Otherwise, every time you have a fallout or every time he just pisses you off, but you're mm -hmm. going to be like, oh, you cheated on me. And it's all going to just bubble up all over again. And it's going to be that. And to be honest, like, that's not really fair on the other person to keep bringing it no, back if you've no. chose to forgive and move on. Like, no. It's just always going to be an issue if you don't actually wholeheartedly let it go. And you're always going to be thinking, I want to get one up on you. You know, if you're just in one of those moods and you'll be thinking, oh my God, I'm going to do it as well. And then I'll make you feel how you... Those colours are really nice. I like that sweatshirt. Yeah. Mm, thanks. You've got to be able to forgive. If, if that's your decision, Yeah. you have to forgive and forget... And, and you have to. That's incredibly hard. Like you yeah, say, God, you've got yeah, to be a I, don't, I couldn't do person. it. I don't think. No, to not want to keep mm. regurgitating it, you know? Yeah. Is that you and Chinsy with cigars? No, it's breadsticks. Oh, breadsticks. <laughs> cigars. <laughs> Literally a breadstick. Do you think me and Chinsy would have a cigar? No, I just don't know. Table. I thought that no, you can't really see. It's literally breadsticks. Bring on a table. Oh my God, where'd you find that? <gasps> Oh my god, let me see. Oh my god, that's my memory drawer. <gasps> oh, we have to go through the memory drawer, folks. Oh, can you pull that drawer out or is it attached? Oh my god, it's the memory drawer. Right, guys, I thoroughly encourage you all to do this. If you don't have a memory drawer, then I think you should create a memory drawer. <gasps> just Oh my god, here's me and Chintz. I just cut off the other girls because they might not want to be on a YouTube channel. <gasps> How do I focus it? Oh my god, there we are. This was in the queue for the One Direction concert. Why am I wearing that red cardigan with that skirt? Chinsy actually's got a nice outfit on. That was in the queue oh, yeah. for the One Direction concert at the Theatre Royal. Their first ever like yeah. tour. Yeah. And they just were doing theatres because they couldn't even sell out arenas yet. They only had one song. They only had That's What Makes You Beautiful. Yeah. I remember. I think that was like their only song. They were doing skirt. loads of covers. Here's me and Chintz on a wait on some bus to go on some school trip. 313, is that the year that was? Um, Would I have been that age in 2013? Seven years ago, eight years ago. I think that's like three years ago, but it's not at all, is it? I would say um, you're probably about 14 there. Oh, Here's me, what I showed last time when I was a bridesmaid, I didn't want to be a bridesmaid. <laughs> <laughs> I look so miserable in all these pictures because I just did not want to be there. Oh, here's oh, Baby Coco. Oh, that's cute. <gasps> oh, look at that little so small. More pictures, more pictures. I think that I was sorting up. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at me go. Legs crossed, jazzy trousers. I was finding them for when I did something for your 21st. Oh yeah, you made me a book. That's a nice one. Oh my God, there's me. I think I literally look the same. Let's have a look. Like, that is me, I literally look the same. <laughs> yeah. Monsoon that dress was from. Oh, oh, that was in, oh, if only that was this summer. That was in. Was it Mykonos or somewhere like that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was. It was like Mamma Mia. Oh, whoa, here's me and Abercrombie Fitch model. Who remembers this when you went to the Abercrombie <laughs> store? And you got your picture with the model and you were like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, wow, he's gorgeous. Whoa, look at those abs, that's crazy. I know, I had one Do they well, still do that? Oh my God, we should go. I don't know. I was so excited for that. That was your prom. Oh yeah. His so name is your... prom on the bus. Receipts and tickets. The other one. Top of the rock. I know, so many tickets. I don't know what I was saving them for. I think it's mainly concert tickets. Oh my god, we believe <laughs> in the Justin Bieber concert. We believe, Justin. <laughs> we had to write these out on a that's not even my handwriting. I think that was the girls we were queuing up with gave us those. Fun fact, the girls that we queued up with for the Justin Bieber concert, I literally still have them on Facebook. Really? And now one of them's like got two kids and she's married. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, The Wanted. Who remembers The Wanted? <gasps> Here's Justin Bieber ticket. Oh, my God, oh, look at him with his little... Oh, Justin. That was the best. Did you go wow, twice Wow, 2011. Him? Did you go twice to Yeah, him? I went twice. Because the last time he kept you waiting and waiting. I always remember I know, that. but we still love Justin. We, well, the we parents don't mind. were really... 
Yeah, but the kids were like, shut Angry. up, we love Justin. Don't you dare talk time about time him like that. Now. God, these are all, what did I take these in? Oh my God, here's me and Chintz at the Saturdays concert. I'm, I'm the big boss, I'm a gangster, I'm the dance floor. Saturday, did you see yeah. that? Yeah, there's Chintz on the ski trip. Here's me and Chintz going to our first ever house party. Woohoo, I remember and that dress. Kylie Jenner had a dress like this, so I got that dress. It was like Kylie Jenner dupe. There's us with our, my Urban Outfitters cardigan on. I used to absolutely love that cardigan. I think that's yeah. in like TGI Friday's toilets or something. This is after ballet one time on the grass. <laughs> I remember pissing myself at that picture. Oh, just random selfies. Why did I take them on this camera? Why have I printed these off? I don't actually know. No. Right, my camera's gonna die, guys, so maybe I'll actually start doing some cleaning now. We'll talk later, bye. Right, jumper is in the washing machine and I'm just praying that it looks okay. I think it will. I just don't think it's gonna look as good as like this, like uniform. I think we're gonna be okay. I just watched um, Lauren Tor Toyota's new What I Eat In A Day In Quarantine and she made um, cinnamon rolls. And I was literally like, oh. so next vlog, that's what we're doing. Hold me accountable because I need them. Like I, 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 I rarely ever eat them anyway in normal life. I feel like I maybe have had them like twice in my life. Oh, I've had a cinnamon like donut, but that's not the same, but like an actual cinnamon roll, I think I've only had like twice in my entire 22 years. So I need to make them, but I need to do it properly. Follow the instructions. No fuck ups this time, like the fucking brownies. But I'm defo gonna do that next time. I'm just chilling. It's almost five, so I'll make dinner soon. I think I'm gonna have a vegan burger. I don't have any lettuce though, but I have potatoes and like the patty. Um, bit of a lackluster dinner or, or maybe i'll make pasta i don't know if that's boring but a burger sounds good to me i don't really know but i'm literally just chilling on the floor watching vids that's what it's come to I'm now watching um gino clips on youtube on this morning and i really want to watch the full episodes of um gordon gino and fred what are the other things i've never actually seen the full episodes and i was watching all the clips last night absolutely loving it so I'm gonna watch some of those, some of these clips, see where YouTube takes me. Ooh, something you should all watch, um, The Act. I found it, right, basically, long story short, it's about, it's a true story about this girl called Gypsy Rose Blanchard. And it's basically like her mum brought her up to think that she was really ill, like, you know, all these illnesses and put her in a wheelchair and, but really she could walk and all that kind of thing. Um, and like forced us to do it so that they could get charity money and stuff and like donations and stuff um, and then it's just the story of that it's about eight episodes it's insane and i won't tell you what happens in the end well i won't tell you what happens but watch it like watch the series and then go and watch the real life interviews with gypsy and her boyfriend and just like the real life doc she was on doc dr phil and everything like it it's real it happened and then they made just like an eight part series um with actors and stuff it was so good trust me please watch it. it's called the act i bought it on amazon prime for 12 pounds but apparently you could have got it for 99p on starplay I've got a strawberry in my tooth. Star play apparently it's only 99p, so just bear that in mind. But I, I really enjoyed it. Like it was so good. I watched it in two days and I was like, cause I was already fascinated by, I'd already watched all the documentaries and not documentaries, all the interviews and stuff. And I'd already watched the Dr. Phil stuff. So I already knew the story kind of, and it was just crazy. It, like, please watch. The washing machine is done. Oh, oh, there was a rogue sock in there. Right, let's have a look at this. Right, we're a bit backlit. I'm gonna move us into some better lighting. Over here. Okay, right. Um, not too bad. Um, it's not gone like white completely is that maybe because um but the back looks a bit better up here is we're really winning up here um, and this sleeve looks pretty good um it's all right isn't it this is the back maybe i'll have to just wear it oh oh right i'm looking at it in the big mirror cute oh i think it's really cute it's not like perfect it's 
definitely like this is all bleach like I, maybe when i squirted all that extra oh my god a hoover when i squirted all that extra bleach on maybe that was the mistake but why did it go white so quickly around the edges i just don't get it but that is 10 out of 10 up there that's like amazing right i'm gonna swing it over my little ledge here so maybe you should open it outside will that dry quicker yeah let's put it in the sun on the balcony and let's get this baby dry i do i do have a tumble dryer setting on that washing machine but i don't know how to do it oh, i don't want to get it dirty again um oh there's a bit of bird poo oh there's a woman on her balcony over there hello hi she is gonna try beautifully there for me thank you darling great work chintz guys here's me in school book look at my school quote right where do i see myself in 10 years 25 sitting on 25 mil that was drake lyrics that i put but they <laughs> they spelt it out literally like 25 sitting on 25 million i want it to be 25 sitting on 25 mil but they made it sound really like serious um favorite quote everything happens for a reason sure does not my best picture, we'll just, we'll just go with that up. Okay, I've just discovered I have a new keeping up to watch. So I'm gonna watch this and then make dinner. And hopefully my thingy dries. Can you see her? She's just right there. Hello, darling. Right, um, it's been a few hours and I definitely underestimated this task of cleaning my room. I came into the day thinking, here we are, it's a new day. I'm gonna just clean my whole room out today. I'm gonna to get it just spick and span, just clean every single corner, get all my clothes just organized, sorted, wardrobe emptied, boom. And I'm sorry, it's been about three hours. A, I'm kind of bored of it after three hours, to be honest. And it just looks like I've not done anything when I've actually done, well, I've it's literally not even touched the surface. I've basically, well, I'll show you. God, honestly, I don't recommend doing. Well, actually, I do recommend doing this, but it's just a lot of effort. Um, so I've basically kind of sorted this out. This has been my main task. Um, why this took literally three hours, I don't know. So this is still like full of stuff, but it's now full of stuff that like I actually use, and like all my jewelry's here. Um, got some pictures there. Um, got our I saw it first collection phone case got some hair up there um, and then this drawer I've actually organized as well which is actually quite a big task so I've decided to keep like all my makeup and stuff in him my makeup bag because that all used to live on my um, windowsill so I'm going to keep all that in here all in here is like fake tan sunglasses I've just put this like photo album on the top um just some palettes that's just like headbands and this is literally all i've done and oh i've kind of cleared the decks here as well um but yeah that's literally it and i don't know why it's literally taken me three hours but at least it's done uh, oh my god i'm so disappointed this was just not what i had envisioned for my day today i honestly thought i was gonna just sort my whole life out and i've just not been able to but to be honest it's still good because now i'm, I'm still gonna keep going but i'm just gonna do it in more like bite-sized chunks so today i've organized that and then tomorrow i might do like this half then maybe in a few days i might go under my bed and sort all of that out. i'm just gonna have to stagger it Doing it all in one day was just, just real, just, what's the word? Big thinking, what's that word? You know, just just a real stretch, basically. Um, yeah, I know you guys wanted me to do a room tour as well. Um, but my room's just really not looking its best right now. I don't really want to give a tour. Um, but, I mean, you kind of get the gist from these vlogs, right? It's just a white bed. Everything's just white in this room. Um, but yeah, I will do a room tour. Maybe I'll do a room tour when I've actually, like, sorted it out and it's actually looking a bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do one just yet because I don't really want to show you guys what's going on in here. Okay, so what shall we do for the rest of the day? Hmm. I've been trying to keep myself busy. One of you guys asked me a question on this Q&A that I did yesterday. And it was like, how do you not feel guilty about um, just like chilling and like just not doing anything? And what I've been trying to do is 
I'm trying to stick to like the Monday Friday schedule like I'm trying to keep track of the days and like not forget what day it is as in like Monday to Friday I'm still trying to like wake up like I'm waking up at like eight I'm trying to get up you know nine I'm trying to work out every morning I'm trying to do some work like just keep just keep busy as busy as I can be in this time and then on the weekends I'm like right okay let's watch Grey's Anatomy all day let's watch Disney Plus all day um, and that way I don't feel guilty on the weekends at all about literally doing nothing because I'm like do you know what I've actually had quite a busy week so like right now for example I would just like watch Netflix all afternoon but I'm like oh it's just not a good use of the time is it it's just not a good use of the time and it's only Wednesday I feel like I can't really do that yet so what shall we do <sighs> this is just life guys like sorry this jumper looks so strange like what do we literally do I don't really want to bake anything because I'm trying to like I was saying at the start of the vlog I'm trying to kind of be healthy like the past like I'd say week and a half two weeks I've kind of been seeing this whole like lockdown as more of like a holiday and I've like not been working out haven't really been I've been just like you know baking and eating like everything that we bake like you know cakes and all of that lot and I've just been eating like just stuff that I don't usually eat like just snacking on like crisps and then this weekend we just had Easter I was like, do you know what? Like, I actually need to stop and I actually need to... And just, I actually just need to get back into the swing of things. Like, back into working out and stuff. So I'm glad that I'm back into that now. Um, and yeah, that's why I don't really want to bake anything. Because when you bake a cake, you've got to eat the cake. And as much as I'd love to eat some cake right now, I also don't. I'm just trying to keep, like, relatively healthy. This is my little burger. These are the Miami um, burgers. I get them from Holland and Barrett. So good. Put it... Put melted some epic mature in there. Look at the... Denzel. One sec. Look at the melt in that with a bit of ketchup. I wish I had some lettuce and stuff, but I don't. These are little Warburton thin things. Made some rosemary fries and i'm watching denzel's best and worst coachella outfits of the decade this is a perfect setup right now Woo -hoo -hoo. oopsies it's seven o'clock i forgot to vlog um okay what have i been doing i facetimed two of my friends had a bit of catch up um oh i had dinner i just had dinner actually had these really nice things if any of you have gone to m&s and had the plank kitchen the chicken kievs they're amazing so i have one of those like some potato salad um they're so good it's like fake chicken with like a garlic butter like sauce in the middle it's really good so i have one of those for dinner and me and fiona share some chocolate strawberries it's seven o'clock i really want to watch cheap by the dozen tonight that's what i want that's the film i'm in the mood for tonight also i've been seeing um people are foaming their mirrors do we know about this now i follow this girl on instagram called maria who I've followed for ages, absolutely love her. And she always had this mirror. Well, not always, I'm not sure how long she's had it. And I was like, oh my God, I love that mirror. But I just assumed that it was just a mirror that she bought from a shop, naturally. Um, do you guys see that? I just assumed that she'd bought it. I mean, um, has she bought it? No, she's not. But it turns out she's like done it herself and it's like DIY. Because then Emma, Emma Ledger, who we all we all know and love, she has just recently done it to one of hers as well. So now I'm kind of thinking, oh my god, should I do it to mine? But look, this is what she's done to hers. How gorgeous is that? I think it looks so good. I really like it. I think it looks amazing. Um, so yeah, no, I want to kind of want to do that, but I'm not really sure. She's got a whole tutorial. I think it's literally just foam. And it just dries and like expands and dries like on a regular mirror. But... I can't really commit because what if it goes wrong and then I've only got one mirror. I need to get another one like that Ikea one because that would be perfect and do it on there. So maybe I'll do that soon. I don't know but then why am I going to keep another mirror? I don't have any room. <laughs> but it looks so good so if any of you have done that to your mirrors or any of you are bored and you have some spare mirrors lying about honestly. I'm sure it'll be on YouTube like foaming mirror. Like how do I foam my mirror? This is what's on the TV all the time. And I know all the songs that play to the FIFA, don't I? Yes, I do. Can we sing it? Um, let's start me off. I don't even know. It's, it goes, oh, what's that one? The specific one? 
Anyway, it's just rubbish, just like royalty free music that they play, which I have to listen to most of the time. So he's playing FIFA and I'm just watching videos. I watched 90 Day Fiance. I had my dessert, I had my ice cream with my jammy dodgers and my vegan marshmallows. And it was really yummy. You need to put my eyebrows. And Lewis's eyebrow and Lewis's hair's gone a bit yellow. We need to put some more silver on that. But plenty of time, no one's seeing you, right? No one's seeing you apart from no me. No one's seeing you apart from me. Okay, update on the drying jumper. It looks really, really good. It's still a bit damp, so maybe what I think I'm, this sleeve looks the best. That looks amazing. That looks professional. Um, but I will give you a proper update in the morning when we've got proper daylight um, and I can pop it on for you when it's all dry, but it looks so cute. It's just unique and amazing. Did I do a good job? Did I do a good job? Yeah, I've done that. You'd wear that. Amazing. Would you want me to make you one? Yeah, maybe, uh... You'll probably be wearing this anyway. A blue one, please. A blue one, yes, of course you can. This is my setup. I have an Aldi Diet Coke, which tastes a bit fake, but okay. And I'm going to watch some YouTube. This is, like, you can tell what I've been watching recently. Gino and 90 Day Fiance. And who's that? Always, and mukbangs. Oh, and him, he's really funny. He did, I, yeah, I recommend, he's funny, Tom Harlock. And Say Yes to the Dress. Oh, and can't forget Chris Clemens. Okay guys, I'm gonna watch this film. It's literally still daylight and it's eight o'clock. So I'm a bit confused about that. Um, but nonetheless, I'm gonna get cozy. I'm gonna watch this film. I love this film so much. Which one do you guys prefer? Cheap by the dozen one or cheap by the dozen two? I've gotta say, I think, do I prefer, the, I think I prefer the first one, you know, I don't know about the second one, do, oh, do I? Taylor Lawton is in the second one. Mm, I think I might go for the first one, you know, I think I prefer the first one. Also, who is in this? That boy, who is so beautiful, I think. Oh, I can't zoom far enough. When he comes on the screen, I'll let you know. Also, can we just prove that this house in like this countryside, they must have been rich and never even realised. And also 12 kids. They must have been pretty wealthy to afford all those children, am I right? Oh, I'm just settling in. Now is not the right time, my friend. Now is not the right time. I'm trying to watch. Just started. Here he is. Oh my god, my first crush. There he is. Oh, I guess it's the funniest Stunning. guy in the herd. Oh, we've lost him, we've lost him. No. Oh, there he is. What a beautiful specimen. Wow. Okay, that was amazing. So, guess what I'm doing next? Mm -hmm. Good morning, good morning. Quick message from me from the morning. Tie-dye is looking cute. This is the back. Back definitely looks better than the front in terms of um distribution of dye this is like a massive blob of bleach the front is still cute though look it's still look this sea leave is really good it's just less of it but i'd still like spend like 50 quid on this if i saw an asos so i'm pretty chuffed i recommend you all have a go at this like i might try this gray one and I'm just really happy with it so 10 out of 10 I forgot to end you last night, didn't I? What did I do? What was I doing? Oh yeah, I watched Cheap by the Dozen 1, then I watched Cheap by the Dozen 2. I don't actually think that I prefer Cheap by the Dozen 2. <sighs> Sorry if that made some of you yawn. Yeah, I, th I think I actually prefer the second one now. I've watched them both. Um, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I like my favourite films. I forgot how much I loved them, so I'm encouraging you all to, to go and watch those films. Um, <sighs> so yeah, I didn't really vlog much yesterday. I wanted to go through like more of my clothes and show you guys like me like clearing out more of my actual wardrobe um but i just did not get around to it maybe i'll do some of that today um so yeah sorry if that was a bit of an anti-climax with the whole clearing out of the room thing um but next vlog i'm gonna dye my hair pink so that's gonna be fun i'm on a mission to find that hair dye before the next vlog 
Um, some of you have been sending me links, so thank you. So I think I should be able to get it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that in the next vlog, so hopefully that makes it a bit more exciting. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Alrighty, love you lots. Thanks for watching. Bye.